Hello everyone, welcome to World Geography. This is week 10. The purpose of this video is to give you a synopsis of what we will be covering throughout the week. First, we'll start by going over our agenda. The lessons that we'll be covering are the following. First, we'll start with Building Nations Part 1, Building Nations Part 2, and Canada's Unification last. So we're going to be focusing on the following big questions. How did the United States gain um, its independence? What challenges did it face after independence? How did Canada become a nation? And what is it like living in the U.S. and Canada? We'll be looking at the concepts of urban areas, the different cultures in different areas of certain regions in both nations as well. So in our first lesson on Sunday, we're going to be looking at the Building Nations Part 1 lesson. Here we're focusing on the American Revolution and how the United States gained its independence. We're also going to be exploring the challenges that it faced after independence. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, we're, created, we're, we're going to be looking at the Revolutionary War for sure briefly in terms of how the United States won its independence. So as we do that, we're going to be creating a cause and effect chart to show the American colonies experience under British rule and how the creation of a republic happened. Then we're going to be looking at the marking or the creation of the American Constitution. It's going to be very brief and, you know, just like getting a surface level understanding of the concepts presented there um, as we explore a primary source called the Getzberg Address. Now, in this activity on Savas, we're going to be comparing and contrasting how Northerners and Southerners have responded to the address given by Abraham Lincoln. And so this is the first time we're going to be exploring a speech. So we're going to think about why it's powerful and why it's so important in American history. Then we are going to take a visual analysis of the painting below. So this one is in relation to the American Revolution and just kind of looking and discussing how these structural elements depict the victory of the Americans and why it shows aspects of the American Revolution. So this is just to see your analysis skills. Then we're going to be working or utilizing our geography skills to look at the expansion of the United States how it gained more territories in the Southwest as well. Then the next lesson will be Building a Nation Part 2. Here we're not only looking at westward expansions, but we're going to be looking at the different revolutions and wars that also played a part in gaining more territory. We'll then move on to Canada's unification in terms of understanding why Canada turned out to be a um, nation of its own, okay, and how that happened in terms of why you know um, the colonies turned into an uh, to, to an actual nation. We're going to be looking at words like dominion and immigration throughout this lesson. We'll also be utilizing a PowerPoint where. We'll discuss the unification of Canada through research groups. So everybody's going to have an aspect that they'll explore and present. Um, also, we're going to be analyzing diagrams as you guys are used to incorporating throughout lessons to cover the visual and geographical skills that we need to master throughout this course. So we're gonna look at a diagram about immigration to the United States and Canada and see if we find any trends and how this played a part in getting America's power to grow. So 
when we are looking at Canada or life in Canada and the United States, we'll also really utilize what we learned about urban areas and urbanizations into understanding why some areas have more concentration of people or population and why other areas are relatively empty. Okay, so that's what we'll basically be looking at in terms of the activities. These ones will be pretty basic and they're more, um, you know, they're designed to kind of get you guys to do lead the discussion and presentations. So we'll have painting analysis, we'll have group posters and presentations, interactive maps, cause and effect charts. And then I want you guys to come up with your own Q&A about, you know, questions and answers about Canada and the United States in regards to things that you want to learn about them or questions that you have about their regions or certain aspects on immigration as well. So that way you'll be able to connect it to current events or things of your interest if you're looking into studying there. So that's basically it. You are honestly strongly encouraged to utilize Savas and make sure that you have it you know, running during class along with the activities being presented on the BC pages. Because this, this specific week will be heavy on Savas and the BC pages versus extra worksheets and all of that. So if you have any questions, please reach out to me in person or through email or both. And I'll be glad to help you if you have any concerns.